Hiya. So I've started working on a new section of the map this month, which means I've been playing with a couple of new toys. It's going to be my version of the Dark Woods with dynamic fog that slowly engulfs you. If you've got the wand lit, you're fine. If you don't, it's the usual Zelda trope and the mist will slowly engulf you and reset your position back to the start. So, to do this I'm using exponential height fog and particles with a volumetric material. The height fog is driven fairly hard and starts right on top of the camera. The volumetric scattering is also turned up a couple of notches because I want that nice large halo around the lights. Um, looks a bit heavy in the editor but it's not too bad in the game with the lights down low. One thing though, because the fog is unbounded it does cause issues in the editor. Basically when I'm working on all the other levels they pick up this fog. Um, so I have to have it off by default which means I need a way to turn it on in game. Now fortunately I want a different type of lighting in this zone, i.e. dark all the time. Um, so I had to go into the lighting controller and make some changes anyway. Up to now it's just been one set of curves for the intensity, angle and colour. Now it lerps between multiple sets. Now the cool thing with this is it actually piggybacks on the map's post-process volume. There's one set up for each map anyway and each one has a blend radius. Calling and compass point on the post-process volume gives me that blend weight and I can plug that straight into the lights and the fog and get a nice smooth blend. So that's the base layer and the lighting. The dynamic bit could have just been straight particles but I've gone the whole hog and set it up with a volumetric material. There's an example in the UE docs and I've just added a texture sampler to get a bit of variation into it. Now, the good thing with particles is that they can collide. So I've created a new collision channel and set it up so only simulated objects overlap. The actor collision module in the particle system looks for this channel and it will kill the particles if they hit it. Player character's got an additional collision capsule added on the same channel, so when the wand light is on, the capsule's set to overlap, any particles near the player die. When the wand is off, the capsule's turned off, the particles can spawn in and slowly it engulfs the player. Dead simple, looks pretty cool. The last visual bit is a post-process material for the screen edges, again super old school, it's just two noise textures summed and blended over the scene. I've got an inverted radial gradient in the middle and that fades it out. I can scale this in and out over time when the wand light isn't on. So when the screen whites out, you'll be whisked off back to the start. The cherry on top, a low pass filter on the audio. So as you enter the map, that gets added to the audio stack, the high end just fades out. So volumetric fog isn't cheap. At 4K resolution, it's about three milliseconds on this PC, which is enough to drop the frame rate. But AO isn't cheap either, that was about 2 to 2.4 at the same resolution which ended up being good news. AO doesn't make a lot of sense in a foggy environment, even less so in the dark, so I've just done a straight swap. Can't really tell the difference, although it is a little bit flatter, um, and it is still the most expensive area, so I need to be careful with the number of lights, but, you know, the whole gameplay was already set up so there was only really one or two lights in the scene, so it ended up being pretty cool. So yeah, I'm happy with that, it's been a productive couple of weeks. So anyway, catch you next month.